Mr. Miyagi style. I have my bourbon. I have my fun toy opening knife. You guys know what this is? You're gonna find out soon enough. Here's a hint. Oh, <gasps> look at that, 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 look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Let's hope this is worth it. So, here it is. Awesome. Can't wait. Let's do an unboxing quickly. Uh, let's see how this thing looks. Oh, look at this baby. What a beauty. Compare it with the original. Here's the original here. Apparently somebody got theirs today, opened it, and it didn't it wouldn't sync up to their phone. They were having problems firmware updating it, so hopefully I'm not gonna have the same problem. But we shall find out soon enough. So we have the box for the drone to the hover. This is the hover X1 Pro version. That's the least expensive of the new uh, line. It's 4K um, camera. They're, they have the uh, advanced um, cinematography um, version, which is the X1 Pro Max. And there's quite a bit of uh, uh, upgrades to the Pro Max. It's actually an 8K um, camera on it. This is a 4K camera. And it has a back camera as well for sensor. There's a few more options with it. It shoots 10-bit. Uh, just crazy specs on the uh, on the uh, the Pro Max, which is crazy. So this is the old version and the new version. Here we go. And what do we get? We'll get our little bag. The battery's right there, and that's not it. Do we get anything else? This is a very basic unit. <laughs> uh, Hover X Pro Pro Max Pro Max combo. Okay, so I get a bag, cable, and that's it. So this tells you what the box this is. So you can get the cycle combo, which comes with a ton of stuff. Um, recharge, they have chargers, they have the beacon remote control, which is really cool. So I didn't buy that just because I want to see how this works. If this works really well, I'll probably end up getting the beacon when it comes into Amazon because this is what's the Indiegogo uh, purchase. So anyways, that's it for the box uh, opening, uh, open box uh, video. And uh, I'll be doing uh, some tests on, uh, on both of these together. On this one, so it looks like it's slightly bigger on this one. If you look at the two, um, I like the portability of this, but let's see how this one works in terms of portability. Still folds up, nice little small enough, so small than DJI Neo, and that's why I really want it because it folds up. Okay, uh, looks like a more robust camera too. The grill is a little bit more robust, so and it does a lot more. It is a 4K uh, camera on this. Uh. Anyways, guys, I'll come back and I'll do a full review. Ciao. All right, guys, I just got a couple of flight mode samples that I did today just to play around with the drone uh, for a little bit. There's no sound in this drone. There's a reason for that uh, because you need the Hover Air X1 app to work with the, uh, the drone to get the sound recording. Unfortunately, uh, it was a bad start for this drone. I was a little bit disappointed uh, with the company as the Android side of the application for this drone was not was not ready. It was not implemented well. There was a slew of problems. Uh, first off, it would not connect to the drone, would not detect the drone. And my phone knows it's there. It connected Bluetooth. I haven't paired it, but the app just will not detect the drone. That was one problem. A couple hours later, there was an update. The update went through and actually allowed me to detect and activate the drone. And you have to activate that drone to use it. And I didn't really care about the app as long as I could use a drone to play with the drone itself. Because the drone is the most important part of this whole process, right? And I know the drone is a solid product. And it is a solid product, as you can see. And I play with it. And it's just a really nice piece of hardware. Um, but to have something so basic not work... Uh, it, it's kind of ridiculous, and it's a little disappointing with uh, with uh, zero zero uh, robotics. 
you know, I get it as a, as a beta tester for years, you know, uh, buying stuff launch on first day, part and parcel of facing new issues uh, or glitches in, in the actual product itself. This is pretty basic stuff. And it should have been working day one with this drone. You know, we're not asking for complex uh, operations like the DJI Fly app. Um, this is just to connect to the drone to access the video and change flight modes. That's all it is. Um, you know, it's not like they had to reinvent the software. The Hover Air X1 software was there already for the uh, first generation. So all they had to do was just tweak it and then make it compatible with the actual new models. It's that simple. All the controls are there already. All the code is there, right? Um, so it's kind of weird that, you know, this was not taken care of. So uh, I have a Holy Stone drone that I bought from Amazon four years ago. It's a toys drone. Uh, it works perfectly fine with my Android in terms of accessing video, connecting, remote control, that kind of stuff. And Zero Zero Robotics, they make these drones and they can't even get that software right. Now, apparently the iPhone software was just perfectly fine. Uh, there was a couple glitches, but not as critical as the Android portion of this of this uh, program, which is kind of biased if you ask me that the iPhone users were the ones that were taken care of. And again, Android gets blindsided. There's actually more Android users out there in the world and in US then there are iPhone users, and that's that's a fact. You can just guys go, go search it if you want, right? That was a little disappointing, but I got to get the drone. Uh, I got it activated. Uh, the, the application still doesn't work. I still can't access the videos on the actual drone itself. Um, there's some glitches with the flight mode settings. Apparently, there's a new firmware that's out that's supposed to fix all this problem, but the application is not telling me there's a firmware update, um, and I'm guessing it hasn't been rolled out to, to our region yet. There's been uh, users that said that the new firmware actually works fine with Android devices. So hopefully we'll get a fix within a day or two, and I can come back and, and be a little bit more happy with this. Uh, but the drone, as you can see, it's gorgeous. The 4K is unbelievable. It's phenomenal. Day and night difference from the... Uh, from the older X1 2.7K uh, drone. Uh, definitely, I'll come back. I just want to do a quick intro to this and in my first impressions, my first experiences. Uh, hopefully, this uh, this experience will actually get better and better as we go. So, But anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, hope you like it, and let me, let me know what you think. Bye.